Guys, I decided to do something different on the side. I hope you enjoy. And don't worry, I'm not quitting Paladins. 12 dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Mm. Wow. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. I can see the blood, but I can smell it. So thirsty. Yep. I guessed it. I think there's no other way. Someone close. She's alive. Oh, I'm so glad. My sweet brother. What have you done? Mary! Oh, no. Mary! Hold on. Please, hold on. No, no. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, 
Understand. These patrols are after me. Watch no, yourself. no, don't shoot. Should have been the last this person. Is a nightmare. He would have killed. I need to get out of here. This can't be happening. No, please stop. I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Has it fled? bastards. Now, I can defend myself. Kill the thing! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Cool. I learned that fast at the... The press control. I swear I've never played this. Who game. are you, stupid beast? Oh. oh. Sorry. While walking, switch target. Who are you? What do you want? I'm not sure how to switch target. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, Unlucky. listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? W what is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? The sun. Ah, ah, just, just leave me! Ah, 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 ah. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. I need to hide? Is that weird? Let me trying go! Trying to tell me? Sprint, hold the sprint. That's your stamina. Yeah, I, I guess that. I need to find shelter! Is anybody there? Seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. It's okay, you didn't mean to. You've seen better days. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? 
Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fence it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. Ow, that ball must have hurt. That's impossible. Well, that's a woman. How does she have it? Well, I guess this is... Maybe gave it to the wife. much to accomplish. <sighs> I still have so much left that needs doing. Now you have all the time in the world. lost we need to leave and now no. there's time i can save him that's the enemy coming the orders are to evacuate the hospital good man <sighs> done he'll live and now what we fight killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing hmm. that's true no, it never got easy. Aww. That means you're... You're good at heart. You have a good heart. Remember that. No, 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 no. Rational thinking only. Um, listen, there's always a choice. Game, give me that option right now. Okay, fine. I wonder why it's with a Y. Kind of reminds me of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nice try.
This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. As it is, as mad as the moon, Montaigne's blinding sunlight into a glowing reflection. You need to stop thinking rationally. What? What is this? belong to the one who made me what I am I must find him to understand what I have become so they don't die from being burned from the sun they die if they get the cat decaf They die, they get decapitated, and then... What the fuck? And they get decapitated, and then burn. That's how they die. Otherwise, they regenerate. Good to know. Where is it? It's closed. Nobody's home. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. The leech. Here! I'm not a leech. You learn fast. <sighs> My head's spinning. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. Die, vermin! Press two to unleash a vampire skill. That's a strength. A strength Ooh. I never knew I had. You got that right. got that right I really feel like a child who doesn't know what to do fuck please no I I don't know how to heal myself <laughs> listen dude we can talk about it listen dude we can talk about it you don't have to do this I don't know how I'm alive, but I'll take it. Fuck, that scares me. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Oh. Oh, I can feed from that. No, 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 no. That's only for desperate measures. Oh, can I jump all of that? Oh, never mind. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control oh. it. That's pretty. What will London have to say to me? 
gotta stop caring what people will say so to you. Many questions unanswered. We all do. I feel bad for you, dude. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? Guess you're not that thirsty, huh? The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent of it. There's a lot of blood on the floor, not gonna lie. What do you mean drained? I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Ooh. Fresh blood. Oh. The smell is so strong. Just like you saw at the start of the game. Insane kind of vision. So he can resist the urge of blood. Something dire must have come about. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Wow, I can see the rat. The blood in it. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? She has good hearing. You might as well come in, whoever you are. She's a vampire, isn't she? Slowly, vampire! <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire! Present yourself! I... I need a word. Anyone. Well, she's gone. Oh. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. <laughs> that was a fast change. And who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, Killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Yeah, I could be blamed for it. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Where's the lady? I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Is there even a point to asking you, what do you know? What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. 
The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Are we now? Are we? Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I don't know. I guess when I get to that bridge, that's when I, I'll, I'll cross it. I... I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. So I'm just gonna leave like that. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Back to bottle guy. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. <laughs> I'll leave you to your bottle then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. I think you're hiding something. I think you're hiding something from me. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my job's about. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Someone was pissed. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. He's sick from the epidemic. Maybe. What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Or he became a vampire. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight. But he's not my friend anymore. Wow, that sounded like hypnosis. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. 
I'm rolling my eyes right now, but you can't see. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. That's suspicious, wanting to talk to you outside. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? Can you swim? Oh. Never mind, even better. Oh. Whoa. My brother told me to keep track of my stamina so that I have a little bit left so I can dash. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Alcohol doesn't doesn't quench your first anymore. Yeah, just give him a little bit. I can't feel it. Will please let go of me. I feel bad for him. Give him at least a little bit of blood. This place reeks of bloodshed. He's in pain. Oh shit. I never harm you, Mr. Hampton. You're my only friend. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Oh. He killed all of them, but not his friend, though. We're both bad at attacking each other, huh? He won't harm you anymore. But it sounded like he didn't want to harm you. One second, I need Let to loot. Go. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to you. It's not too late. Never is. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Yeah. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must <gasps> return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Are you that woman? Remember, certain scales are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by Scal? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Yeah. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Nah. Oh, come on. I need more help. Like I said, I'm new. I'm a fledgling. If 
by George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. <laughs> Comedic relief. <laughs> Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. Something tells me I'm gonna like this guy. William was <laughs> not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good doctor, Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. Okay. Best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. At dawn we row. Is that a good idea? At dawn? Oh, I can look around. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The yeah. important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. Hmm. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. <laughs> but I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Okay, I respect that. Oh, you're... London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. How do you a know surgeon that? of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I oh. knew it. I had my suspicions. <laughs> but when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's lucky you Dr. You're... Reed. Marvelous. A doctor. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic, huh? That word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Yeah, so I... I save well, people, now I kill people, then too. Then let me be blunt. As a doctor. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. You have a point. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Well, sure. It seems I have little choice, yeah. but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, <laughs> this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. 